The following program has been made possible by the friends and partners of Christ for All Nations. Coming up on Christ for All Nations. But when you get right down to it, the church needs to do what Jesus did. So I tell people, if I show up at your church and pray for 100 people and a bunch of them get healed, praise God, yay. But if I come and show you how to do the same things in Jesus' name, I would never have to come back. And uh, that's what we've been doing, is, is seeing lives changed, and that's what we wanted with the movie. He has come to break every chain and to unlock every prison door. He turns darkness into light. He turns sin into salvation. He turns bondage into freedom. And he changes us from the inside out. Hello, everybody. I'm Evangelist Daniel Kalenda, and I want to welcome you once again to another broadcast of Christ for All Nations. I'm really excited about today's broadcast. I have some things to share with you that are very out of the ordinary. I'm going to be talking in a few minutes to a gentleman who's just finished an incredible documentary about healing, about signs and wonders, and we're going to show you parts of that documentary. But not only that, we're going to teach you how you can flow in the miraculous, how you can flow in signs and wonders as well. And then at the end of the broadcast today, we're actually going to be praying for your prayer requests. And I believe that the power of God is going to flow right through that lens into your living room, into your bedroom, wherever you're watching this, and you're going to be touched and healed in Jesus' name. And so this is what I want you to do right here at the top of the broadcast. Use that information that's there on your screen. Get in touch with us. Let us know how we can agree together with you in prayer. Because by the end of the broadcast, we want to have those requests right here on the table. We want to stretch out our hands and pray for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today we have a very special guest with us here in the studio. He's a young man that I have been familiar with for a couple of years, but I've been amazed to see how the Lord is using him. And just recently, he has put together a documentary about healing and about signs and wonders. And actually, Christ for All Nations was, was featured as well in this documentary. And I thought it would be such a wonderful thing just to bring him on the broadcast and to have him share with you some of the things that he's learned. He is an evangelist who travels around the world teaching people to become more like Jesus, both in their character and in their actions. I want to welcome to the show today, Art Thomas. Thanks. Art, thanks for being here. Yeah. It was a real joy to get that, uh, that DVD set and to watch it and just to see something that's very close to my heart mm. and this ministry's heart, which is healing. But, you know, we're also a gospel ministry. In your mind, how does the gospel and healing fit together? Oh, it's part and parcel. I mean, throughout the New Testament, throughout even the Old Testament, you see uh, healing and forgiveness mentioned together. Uh, Psalm 103, praise the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. You know, he was bruised for our transgressions, wounded for, for our iniquities and guilt, and by his stripes were healed. Uh, James even says the prayer of faith will save the sick or heal the sick. The, uh, the Lord will raise him up. If he's sinned, he'll be forgiven. Yeah. So I like to say, you know, the blood of Jesus is messy. You get a little on you for one, it's, it covers the rest, and it's available for all. So he paid the price, and uh, what I've found all over the place, you, you minister healing, people discover Jesus' blood does have power today, yeah. and that activates faith in them to say, all right, maybe he can save my spirit. Yeah. And uh, we see lots of lives changed through that. Now, as somebody who does a lot of things in media, yeah. I realize that it is a big undertaking to do something <laughs> like this. So there must be real passion in your heart for this subject. What, what inspired you to put together this documentary? It's actually really funny. My, my friend James, who made it with me, and he, he shows up in the film and shares some things, uh, he was a student at university studying film music scoring. And he came to me and said, I got this idea for my final project. I want to do a documentary about healing, and then my whole class has to watch it. I'm like, buddy, that's, that's an evangelistic uh, opportunity. Like, I can't believe. So I jumped on board, but neither of us had any experience whatsoever with filmmaking or anything like that. We had no equipment. Uh, but God miraculously provided, and within a year and a half, we had this film, and uh, here we are now. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, I'm just now hearing that for the first time. Mm. I'm surprised because it's incredibly well done. Thanks. And uh, it's, it's very, very powerful. 
Um, just kind of take us through what, what was the object with the film and what did you guys do to get that, that outcome? Yeah, yeah, we, my heart has always been to train and equip the church to do the things that Jesus did. So, you know, I, I, I love being an evangelist and traveling to meetings and ministering healing to people, but when you get right down to it, uh, the church needs to do what Jesus did. So I tell people, if I show up at your church and pray for 100 people and a bunch of them get healed, praise God, yay. Uh, but if someone gets sick tomorrow, bummer, right? Uh, but if I come and show you how to do the same things in Jesus' name, uh, I never have to come back. And uh, that's what we've been doing is, is seeing lives changed. And that's what we wanted with the movie. I told my friend James, I, I said, look, uh, if we're going to make this thing, I want it to equip people and not just show them what's happening around the world. So it's made it, it's been kind of a unique endeavor. Um, I don't know that it's been done like that before, but we've had a lot of fun with it. So your goal here is not just to show people that healings are taking place and all the wonderful things God is doing, which in itself is a, is a wonderful thing. Sure. But you actually set out to teach people how they can be activated in healing and in the miraculous. Yes, sir. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're actually going to play a short clip from this, and, and forgive me for doing this, but we chose a clip that, that we're in. Awesome. <laughs> but Because I think that it would be just uh, perfect for our audience. And after that clip's over, I want to come back and ask you some questions about it. So Great. let's watch that right now. She's sick now. Still, 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 look. Okay. All the way, clear. Welcome to the remote village of Wanenga, Uganda, in a region of the world where I've witnessed God perform more miracles than I can count. Now, I'm a missionary evangelist, but the vast majority of the miracles I've seen here didn't happen through my hands. Rather, they happened through ordinary men, women, and even children as they ministered to each other in Jesus' name. You don't need me to heal the sick. You need Jesus to heal the sick. And Jesus is in you. Oh, did I introduce you to James? Yeah, he's my partner in ministry and also in making this film. And in February of 2014, he and I took a team of 12 other people into rural Uganda to witness the miracles God was doing firsthand. You are all equipped. <laughs> Meet Pastor Paul Basuli Habib. Born and raised as a Muslim, when Habib converted to Christianity, his family disowned him and even made attempts on his life. Paul has endured serious persecution for the sake of Jesus, but this has only fueled his passion for the Lord and ministry in the African bush. When we are speaking about Jesus, as the great healer and the great physician, many things were asked. How does this happen? Because when we get problems here, we have only two options. Rather we, or rather we go to the hospital or to our witch doctors here, powerful witch doctors. So we had to challenge them to transform their mind to Christ, to know how powerful Jesus is. I had a problem with pain in the leg. It used to burn like fire. But if you believe God, even if it is witchcraft, He, he delivers you. I'm now okay. My whole body was aching. But now I'm very okay. And I'm very fine. Amen. God bless you. During our two weeks in Uganda, we witnessed more than 1,000 miraculous healings and more than 200 people come to salvation. But there's another ministry who's been in Africa for decades longer. Meet missionary evangelist Daniel Kalenda. Together with his mentor, predecessor, and partner in the gospel, Reinhard Bonnke, 
Their ministry, Christ for All Nations, has seen over 74 million souls saved since 1974. Not only that, but their ministry is marked by untold numbers of miraculous healings as well. Mama, I heard that you were blind. Is that true? Mama, on m'a dit que tu aveugle, c'est vrai? Can you see me? Tu le vois? How is your right eye? Just one eye. Only one eye. The other one still can't see. Cover it again. Put your hand over it. Lord, in Jesus' name, I command this eye to open. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. 2020 vision. 2020 vision in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Mama, look at me. Look at me. What do you see? Oui, 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 oui. Je te vois, je te vois. Oui, oui. See me now. Tu me vois. Tu me vois. You see me? Tu le vois. Oui, oui. Tu es blanc. Oui. Tu es white man. Two eyes. Two eyes. La deux yeux. La deux yeux. La deux yeux. Both eyes. La deux yeux. Oui, papa. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We put healing on this pedestal. It was the pinnacle of the pyramid. When you had achieved the highest level of spiritual attainment, that is when you begin to break through into healing and miracles. That's the way we viewed it. And because we viewed it as such a lofty and unattainable plateau, we never tapped into it. And then I began to work with Evangelist Bonke around the world doing these crusades. And what struck me immediately about his ministry was the ease with which he operated in the miraculous and healing. There seemed to be no effort. There seemed to be no need to work anything up or to perform or to pray a certain way or act a certain way. It was just a natural outflow of the gospel impact. And it began to dawn on me, I think somewhat slowly because I had to get some, rid of some of those old mindsets. But I began to realize, wait a minute, healing is the easiest part of all. This is the part Jesus has done completely, 100%. All we do is appropriate it by faith. Speaking about Jesus, but without showing the power of Jesus, you are meaning nothing to people. <laughs> because Jesus didn't come to affect only the spiritual part of it. Yeah. He also came to affect the physical part of it. Mm -hmm. Because he gives eternal life, and he gives also life physically. When people are healed, you see them dancing, you see, you see them even preaching to other people about the goodness of Christ. You know, it's interesting because as we're watching this, when you came to record this, I was, I you were asking me the questions and you were doing the interview. <laughs> now we're back in the same studio, yeah. I'm interviewing you. Yeah. So the student has become the teacher. <laughs> um, you know, I mentioned in that clip that we just watched how, for me, personally, I had to unlearn mm -hmm. things before I could really begin to flow in this thing. Was that your experience too, or yeah. did you kind of go into this thing running? No, I, I was born and raised in an Assemblies of God church. We believed in healing, uh, but when you really got honest, uh, miracles were really rare. And the, most of the things we called healing were just doctors did their job right and we praised Jesus for it, you know. Um, but yeah, when, when I finally got to this kind of end of my rope moment with healing and started studying the scripture, uh, something shifted when I saw that Jesus healed every single person who came to him. Mm -hmm. That he, he never said, uh, hey, you know, you got leprosy, I'm sorry, but my father's trying to build character in you, so you, you're going to have to tough this one out. Uh, he never turned people away for any reason like that. Uh, he always healed. So when I saw that, and, and Luke 640 says that a student when he, or a disciple when he's fully mature is exactly like his teacher. Mm -hmm. And that made me think, like, I should look just like Jesus in everything. And if he healed everyone, then that should be a target. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm always going to, you know, nail it because I don't see 100% results. Um, but it's what I'm aiming for. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm pursuing Jesus, studying scripture, wanting to know him more, and just learning through trial and error. Uh, and, and that's a lot of what's come out in the film and what I teach wherever I go is seeing how do we do this? How do we grow as the body of Christ to do what happened in, in Acts 5, 16, where, or, or 19, where everybody who came to the disciples in Solomon's colonnade was getting healed? 
So you said that part of the purpose of this series is to teach. Yeah. So, you know, if, if I'm watching this right now and I'm wondering, like, what kind of stuff is on there, can you give me a little sample of what it is that you're going to teach? Sure. Yeah, we, we took maybe 30 different people, roughly, uh, who we interviewed and asked them for their most practical advice on healing ministry. So we had uh, people from out at Bethel Church in California. We had people from uh, International House of Prayer and their evangelism department in uh, uh, Kansas City. Uh, we followed CFAN and uh, so we, you know, all over the world. And then we just went to ordinary pastors and just ordinary people that, we, that I happen to know that uh, have healing ministry happening in their churches or on the streets. Uh, we wanted to present all of this as though uh, whether you're a big name or a nobody, uh, everybody's doing the same thing because it's Jesus. It's, right. it's not about accolades or credentials or anything. It's Jesus. Yeah. So we put everyone on the same pedestal. We said, you're all famous in God's eyes. And uh, we asked them for practical advice. So they started sharing things about, uh, you know, what to do, how to approach a person, how to actually do the ministry time. And uh, it's real practical and down to earth for that last portion of the movie. And this has been out for how many months now? About six That's since six. April. Yeah. So what has been the feedback? What have you been hearing? Oh, we've had some crazy stories. Uh, entire churches getting activated in healing ministry. People emailing me to say that they got healed while watching the film. Um, we, we had a guy just told me he, he showed the film in a maximum security prison to about 60 inmates. And uh, they started praying for each other at the end and wow. healings were happening. One guy was, uh, I, I don't remember if he was deaf in both ears or one, but his, he took his hearing aid or hearing aids out and it was confirmed in the infirmary. This guy was miraculously healed. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been mind blowing. We couldn't have imagined these kind of results you when know, we started. Art, this is, this is something that's happening right now. I mm -hmm. really believe this because, you know, what I do is very heavily involved in healing. Preach the gospel, pray for the sick. Yeah. And I've been doing this for a while now. But over the past few months, what I've been noticing is that the Lord has really been laying it on my heart to do exactly what you're talking about, which is equip the body. Yeah. And when I do that, we've been seeing healings on a scale that I've never seen before. Yeah. And it really shows me that, that God is in this right now. This is what he's trying to do. And so I'm very excited about this. And so I want to show you right now how you can get your copy of Paid in Full. Paid in Full an amazing DVD documentary from evangelist Arthur Thomas, where you will witness over 30 men and women of God that have been equipped to minister physical healing the way Jesus did. Not only will you see what's happening throughout the world, but you will also be encouraged to step out in faith and act with love towards people with the grace and power of God. For your gift of $20 or more, receive your copy of Paid in Full and learn how to get started in your healing ministry. In addition for your gift of $30 or more, the Ministry of Christ for All Nations would like to add this powerful ministry CD, Healing in the Glory. As you listen to the powerful biblical verses from the heart of evangelist Reinhard Bonnke and Daniel Kalinda, your spirit will be lifted to amazing heavenly places and if you would like to listen or obtain any other music products, please go to cfanmusic.com. You'll find many other albums that will not only strengthen your faith, but also encourage you in your walk with Jesus. Call now and get your copy of Paid in Full. So Art, you know, as we're talking about healing, about the miraculous, what is it that you would say at this stage is the number one thing that you've learned through this whole process? Uh, it's twofold. Number one is knowing for an absolute fact that Jesus wants to heal uh, because he always did it right now. Now is the day of salvation. And the second part of that is if he wants it, I don't have to ask him. I can be a minister on his behalf. I'm an ambassador of Christ. And so being one who, according to Ephesians 2, 6, is seated on the throne with Jesus, when I speak, it's as though he's speaking. So I will uh, speak to sickness, tell it to leave in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, I stopped asking God to do what he told me to do in Matthew 10, 8. He said, heal the sick. Yeah. Freely you've received, freely give. And that's what they did in, in, at the temple gate. What I, I don't have money or silver or gold, but what I have, I give you. Yeah. Freely you've received, freely give. Yeah. You know, I can tell that we have uh, a kindred spirit and a like heart because we're about doing the work of Jesus. Yeah. That's really why we're here, uh, you know. If that, if that ever becomes something that I'm not interested in, I'd just rather <laughs> go sell cars or just right. go to heaven, you know, yeah. honestly. It's all about Jesus. It's all about souls. And healing is really a means to an end. It's, it's there to help us lead people to Jesus and there to glorify him. 
And so, you know, that, my friend, is what the Ministry of Christ for All Nations is all about. Thank you to those of you that have been partnering with us. And I want to encourage those of you that may feel a stirring in your heart to stand with us prayerfully and financially as we're going to the nations preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let today be your day to take life to the next level by partnering with a genuine soul winning ministry as a monthly ministry partner. Go online and click the partner button. As a partner, your prayers and faithful monthly support is something we can count on to help us budget responsibly, plan fearlessly, and work tirelessly in the mission of soul winning. And together, we share in all the blessings of ministry partnership that God promises in His Word. Become a monthly ministry partner with us today. Now, in just a minute, um, Art and I are going to be laying our hands on these requests and we're going to be praying for them. And what I believe is that even right now, we've been talking about the miraculous, we've been talking about healing, but now the power of God is going to come right into your home and you're going to experience it. Come on, Art, let's just lay our hands on this and yeah. would you just for the next 60 seconds just pray yeah. for the people that are in these re requests. Yeah, Father God, I thank you for every one of these people and your love toward them. Yes. Jesus, I thank you that you paid the price to meet every single need to, uh, to make us children of God completely spotless and blameless in your sight. And Lord, we love you for it. Lord, I lift up every one of these requests to you. I ask yes. that you would meet every need, that you would bring healing to bodies, that you would bring salvations to loved ones in Jesus' Jesus. name. Right now, for any person who's watching who needs a physical healing, just if you're able, put your hand wherever the problem is. And I want you to, uh, right now, just expect Jesus to touch you where you are. Yes. So in Jesus' name, I speak to that condition, whatever it may be, sickness, disease, spirit of infirmity, whatever it may be, leave now in Jesus' name, never return. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to test that out immediately. Try to do something you couldn't do and see what God has done. Amen. Amen. I, I really believe that people are yeah. re feeling the power of God right now. Yeah. Some of you may feel a heat or an electricity. Some of you are going to discover your symptom is completely gone. That's Jesus. And if he's been touching you today, I want to hear about it. Use that information that's there on your screen. Get in touch with us. Let us know what the Lord has done for you today. And listen, if you still need prayer, you know that sometimes, like you saw in that video art, we have to pray a second time or a third time. That's okay. If you still need prayer, use that information on your screen and get in touch with us and let us know how we can continue to stand with you in faith for your need in Jesus' name. Art, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thanks so much. And thank you so much for joining us on Christ for All Nations. I can't wait to, wait to see you again next time. God bless you. Bye-bye. In hand with you, are you happy? Today is your day of salvation. Now is your time of salvation. This week is your week of salvation. If you believe that tonight, shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Hey everybody, we've got some amazing events coming up all over the world and I would absolutely love to see you at one of these events. In July, the 20th and the 22nd, I'm gonna be at the Sinaioki Pentecostal Church in Sinaioki, Finland. In August, we're going back to Africa for another Gospel Crusade on the 9th through the 12th. The 24th through the 26th of August, we're gonna be in Budapest, Hungary for our fire conference. For more information about all these events and more, go to my website, danielkalenda.com, and click on the link that says events. I look forward to seeing you there. To learn more about today's resources, go to our website at cfan.tv. Join us next time on Christ for All Nations.